It seems to us impossible and fantastic, that ancient people, were able to erect such structures. However, in everyday life, we often use the same technologies as them, without even thinking about it. Today we will talk about pulleys. But first, let's remember a little physics. The weight of the 50 kg barbell is equal to 490 newtons. To lift this barbell upwards, we need to apply a force greater than 490 newtons in the opposite direction of gravity. How much more this force will be than 490 newtons determines how quickly we will lift this barbell. In this exercise machine, it's all different. Despite the fact that the weight of the load is directed downwards, to lift it, we apply force also directed downwards. This is possible thanks to the pulleys. If we slightly change the design of this exercise machine by adding one movable pulley, then to lift a load weighing 490 newtons, we will need to apply half the force. This way, we get a double mechanical advantage. But how is this possible? The pulley is a simple structure that consists of a body, a wheel, and a pin. In this example, the gravitational forces of the two weights are equal, so, the weights are in equilibrium. But if the mass of one of the weights increases, then the magnitude of its force of gravity will increase, and as a result, the loads will come out of equilibrium. Thus, fixed pulleys do not give us a mechanical advantage, since in order to lift a load, we need to apply a force greater than its weight. Fixed pulleys can only redirect the force required to lift the load. But as soon as we add a hook and a moving pulley, a miracle will happen. If we neglect friction in the moment of inertia, then now, we need to exert half as much effort to lift this weight. This happens because the weight of the load is evenly distributed between the two ropes. This is the same as a pull-up. Each hand lifts half of our weight. Therefore, when pulling the rope, we need to lift only half the weight of the load, since the second half of the load is distributed to the hook. The price we pay for a double advantage in strength is distance. So, to raise the load 1 meter, we need to move the end of the rope 2 meters. But what if the task was made a little more complicated? It's actually simple. The main thing is to count the number of cables that directly hold the weight. In this example, there are four of them, which means the weight of the load is distributed evenly between the four cables. This means that to lift the load, we will need to apply a force slightly greater than one-fourth of its weight. This way, we get a fourfold advantage in strength and therefore a fourfold loss in path length. Pulleys are amazing and simple mechanisms that can make us supermen. It is thanks to such simple mechanisms that we can observe unique structures of the ancient world.